Now, uh, moving on from Paul Onoachu, let's, uh, let's talk about a player who is uh, making wave in the moment. He's being tagged the best player in the world at the moment. His name is Mohamed Salah. Now, uh, we know Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo. They've, they've, done, they've done it over the years. Uh, Messi, since his move to PSG, it hasn't been happening for some reason. Ronaldo, yeah, started well at Manchester United, but they are not in good form at the moment. But for uh, Mohamed Salah, uh, he's been doing so well, scoring spectacular goals. He's on seven goals in the Premier League, three goals in the Champions League now. And there's this talk that he's the best player in the world at the moment. Why am I talking about Mosala? I mean, we face Egypt in the AFCON next, next January, and uh, we might come up with Mohamed Salah and Egypt. But uh, what do you make of Mohamed Salah, his old form currently, and uh, you know, what, what, what do you see coming in the future for Mohamed Salah? I could, I could write a book about Mohamed Salah right now. 104 goals uh, in the Premier League. Uh, same with uh, Didi Drogba, far ahead of uh, uh, Sadio Mane. Yeah. There's, no, there's no Nigerian that have hit that numbers. And he is world class. I mean, he's superb. When you do the things you do and you can consistently repeat sure. them, then nobody should question you whether you score. If Mohamed Salah goes 20 games without a goal, he's still bang on top class, just like Harry Kane. If Harry Kane doesn't score goals for 10, 20 games, I'm not going to say, oh, Harry Kane is not a, a dead player, he's not a bad player. No, I know that Harry Kane scores goals for fun and he's going to get it. And that's exactly what Mosala do. And if you consider the fact that he doesn't even stay in the middle, like, oh, he's a center forward kind of striker, he stays wide, he creates some assists, and he also scores goals, he helps his team. The, the way he does it, okay, back in the day, there was a player. Now, Liverpool have had some great white players. John Barnes, the yeah. son of a Jama Jamaican soldier. Uh, Mark Manaman. I'm not a Liverpool fan, but I've seen these guys play football, and I'm like, wow, these guys are good. And the Premier League... Will you put the court up there, too? The court, no, the court is not in that. In the, in, the, in the league of these people that I mentioned, no, come on. The court cannot cut his teeth with uh, Ryan Giggs. These people that I'm calling will, will measure up with Ryan Giggs because Ryan Giggs, Ryan, Ryan Giggs is the diamond standard. Then you now have John Barnes. You now have uh, McManaman. And then you have uh, Overmars for Arsenal. You now have, uh, if you're the wing, Iron Robin came to, came yeah. to Chelsea. He's a good standard. Uh, no, the court is not there. But, you know, all of these guys have been there. And Mosala showed up. The difference between Mosala and maybe Ryan Giggs uh, by McManaman and uh, by John Barnes is the fact that he gives you Thierry Henry's kind of goals and also give you uh, the, the mazy movement and calm and, and dribbles of both the Ryan Giggs or the John Barnes or the Steve McManaman and then the calm the calm of the calm precision and mean instinct of a Lionel Messi so he's what class at all the problem, the problem is God is the fact that one he doesn't have a good media around him he's an african player i can understand and then it's also from the northern part of africa these these people don't do good media the, the only arab player that i know that had a great media was uh mesut Ozil in his prime he had his own website that gives you statistics the number Sorry, of do, do, you, do you think the media thing is affecting the is bringing up the topic that has been underrated at some point or is it because it doesn't have the media presence or it just feels underrated listen if you are mosala I, i'll blame mosala for that if you're mosala if you're coming up like victor Sime, you can afford to say okay let me just do my playing when you get to the level the first time they got to the finals of the champions league mosala needed a team that's what's working for people like Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. You need to have a team. It's a company. You not create a company. People like LeBron James, people like Stephen Curry. You don't, you're no longer yourself. Teddy Jake says something that, look, when you get to a very high pedestal, you become a galactic being. So you, you move and the, the universe moves for you. You have to have a team around you that makes it work. Somebody, there are two people in Nigeria that, that represent that very well, exemplify that very well. Bovi and Basket Mouth. When mm. you look at those two guys, they are not Alibaba. Alibaba is, is a universe all by himself, okay? He's a mothership all by himself. But if we're talking about having a team around you, I think that those two guys are the example of what you should learn for. You need to have a team, a team that, that are crazy about you, that believe in you. I'm not talking about fan page. I'm talking about a team that is working for you that would highlight every of your move and you know amplify it magnify it put it on every place syndicate it everywhere that when whenever you wake up the goal that is scored against watford and against manchester city if messi scored that goal first of the commentary will be on everybody's ear mm. secondly the video will be everywhere you will see it everywhere that's what your team does for you african players don't have that we see didier drogba yesterday uh, made a goof he was uh, made a un uh, 
good United Nations uh, goodwill ambassador and he didn't know the name of the Secretary General in a press conference. Okay, but I I I, I like the way he played with it. Now in 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 that one moment, if that was a maybe a Cristiano Ronaldo that was made the goodwill, I'm, I'm not sure he would make that mistake. But even if he made the mistake. They will turn it around and talk about how good he because he talked about something that it is easier to play football in front of 50,000 people than to sit down here and face you guys. Okay, that's a, something that you would see spinning everywhere. But I'm sure nobody even know if DJ Drogba had been made a goodwill ambassador for the Qatar 2022 World Cup and the fact that he's working with United Nations, which is something very, very big. But nobody knows about it because he's an African player. Do that with a South American player and you see how it will blow. Do that with a European player, you see how it will go. I mean, Rashford is feeding school kids and he's a big team. Odio Egalo is doing the same thing. In Ajegole, he's doing the same thing with uh, his orphanage. Odio Egalo is doing the same thing with widows and setting up people's business and doing a lot of things. But do they have a team around them that is really making it pop and show up everywhere. Ozil pay for med uh, medical bill, you see it everywhere. So the African players need to learn this. That first of you are rated third class. Whether you are from Egypt, whether your skin is white, black, or whatever, but you, because you're from Africa, you're rated third class. Then, after that, it means that you have to work 10 times as hard, not just only on the field of play, but off the field of play too. You need to be able to put a team together that mm -hmm. let people know what you're doing on and off the field. And when you put up a performance, a virtuous performance like it did against Watford, against Manchester City, that thing should be on billboard. It should be everywhere. It should be popping. I mean, he's negotiating with Liverpool for 400,000 pounds. Let's be very honest. Mozilla should be asking for 750,000 pounds a week. And that's not too much. But it's still Mozilla. Is still asking four hundred thousand pounds. That come on. That's what did Sanchez get from Manchester United <laughs> after scoring thirty goals? Five hundred thousand pounds a week. Let's let's be honest now. Not like he won the league or won Champions League or took Arsenal to the finals of Champions League. Five hundred thousand pounds. Who is Alex Sanchez compared to what Mohamed Salah is doing right now? I'm not saying Alex Sanchez is bad, but I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, you know, looking at what he's done, Ekon was in that game. I, I think he must have had a glimpse. The game against Watford, where uh, Liverpool won 5 0. I mean, you know, the whole Watford back line, including Chris Ekon, they were, you know, mesmerized by the Liverpool attack. So he must have had a glimpse when uh, the Super Eagles will take on Egypt. But how do you defend against Sadio Mane, Firmino, <laughs> and Musala? Let's be very honest. How do you defend it's against? It's tough. It's really tough. You know, the fluidity among those three and, and oh, everything. Damn. You know, is even though the front three that Diego Jota has come in, but you know that front three has been that's the front three that was Liverpool in Klopp's era. That was yeah. the front three that you know made oh. it, made it happen, and they were just so good on the day. Uh, you know, Danny Rose was was you know he was <laughs> left turn left right and center. I watched the game, but you know credit to um, Liverpool, they did what they know how to do best. You are listening to a Legbete TV radio.